Hello friends, in the previous video segment where I dealt with primitive roots, we considered a prime number p. So given a prime number p, how do I find if a given number is a primitive root of p? So if p is a prime number, then first find all the numbers which are relatively prime to p. So it's going to be 1 to p minus 1. Then consider a number a which lies between 1 to p minus 1 raise it to power 1 to p minus 1 and calculate the value in mod p. If this generates all the numbers which are relatively prime to p, which is 1 to p minus 1, that then that number a is considered to be a primitive root of p. Now there were a number of requests for me to take an example and show the same for a given number n where n is not a prime number. So let's consider n equal to 14. Now n is not prime, 14 is not a prime number. So first find all the numbers which are relatively prime to 40. That means find numbers from 1 to 13 which are relatively prime to 14 or the GCD of a comma n should be equal to 1 where a lies between 1 and 30. So we observe that the numbers 1, 3, 5, 9, 11, 13 are relatively prime to 14. So you can check for yourself the GCD of 1 comma 14 is 1, GCD of 3 comma 14 is 1, similarly GCD of 5 comma 14 is 1 and so on. So therefore Phi of 14 is equal to 6. That means there are 6 numbers which are relatively prime to 14. Now among these 6 numbers, we have to identify which is the number which is a primitive root of 14. So what has to be done? So now what has to be done? Consider these numbers which are relatively prime to 14. Raise these numbers from 1 to 6. 1 to 6 is enough because we only have 6 numbers which are relatively prime to 14. But anyway, I have written x power 1 to x power 13 to find all the values in mod 14. Now 1 power 1 is 1, 1 square is 1, 1 cube is 1, all the values are 1. So when I raise 1 to power 1 to 13 in mod 14, I will not generate all the numbers which are relatively prime to 14. So definitely 1 is not the primitive root of 14. Next consider 3. 3 power 1 mod 14 is 3. 3 square is 9. 9 mod 14 is 9 itself. 3 cube. So 3 cube is 27 mod 14 is nothing but 27 minus 14 is 13. Next 3 power 4. Now 3 power 4, instead of, do, instead of doing 3 power 4, I can write 3 power 4 as 3 cube into 3 power 1 in mod 14. Now what is 3 cube? 3 cube is 13 into 3 mod 14. So calculate the value 13 into 3 in mod 14. So when you do the calculation, you will get the value as 11. Now similarly, what is 3 power 5 mod 14? So perform 11 into 3 which is 33 mod 40. So you will get it as 5. Right? So you get it as 5. The next case 3 power 6. So instead of performing 3 power 6 just do 5 into 3 which is 15 mod 14 is 1. So observe that I only need 6 values and I have got all the 6 values which are relatively prime to 14. And if I proceed, since I have a 1 here, again I get 3. So the whole sequence repeats because 1 into 3 is 3. Then you have 9, then you have 13, 11, 5, 1 and the sequence repeats. So therefore 13 happens to be a primitive root of 14 because it generates all the numbers 1, 3, 5, 9, 11, 13, which are relatively prime to 40. Next, 5. 5 power 1 mod 14 is 5. 
5 square is 25 mod 14 which happens to be 11 next 5 cube is nothing but 11 into 5 mod 14 55 mod 14 we get 13 next 5 power 4 is nothing but 13 into 5 mod 14 which is 9 next 5 power 5 mod 14 is 9 into 5 mod 14 which is 3 and then you have 3 into 5 mod 14 which is 1 so now the sequence again repeats so you have 5 11 13 9 3 1 and so on so again we find that 5 generates all the numbers which are relatively prime to 14 all the six numbers so 5 is a primitive root of 14 next 9 power 1 mod 14 is 9 9 square mod 14 is 11 9 cube mod 14 is 11 into 9 mod 14 which gives us 1 so if i get a 1 here then the sequence repeats 9 11 1 and so on now 9 is not generating all the six numbers which are relatively prime to 14 so therefore 9 is not a primitive root of 14 next 11 11 power 1 14 is 11 11 power 1 mod 14 is 11 11 square mod 14 is 9 so 9 into 11 mod 14 so 11 cube is nothing but 9 into 11 mod 14 which gives us 1 and this repeats so therefore 11 is also not a primitive root of 14 because it does not generate all the numbers which are relatively prime to 14 so next is 13 13 power 1 in mod 14 is 13 13 square mod 14 is 1 and of course it repeats 13 1 and so on so 13 is also not a primitive root of 14 so we observe that the two numbers 3 and 5 generate all the numbers which are relatively prime to 14 hence 3 and 5 are the primitive roots of 14 whereas these six numbers 1 3 5 9 11 13 are numbers which are relatively prime to n which is 40. so in the previous video segment instead of considering a given number n i had considered a prime number p so to view that video the link has been given in description so do not forget to like share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads and thanks for watching